Today we're going to talk about soul healers. They're for your feet. Six point five one miles, seven minutes, forty seven seconds per mile today. Pushing a little bit harder, kind of testing the water, seeing how my body's feeling. I'm a little bit more than a week, about a week and a half after the marathon, and just trying to get kind of a check for how all the different systems are doing. So far, everything's feeling pretty good. Uh, I was able to get moving a little bit faster today. Uh, all major systems feeling fine, but. I do still feel a little bit just heavy, I think is probably the best word for it. So still gonna try and take it relatively easy in terms of I'm not gonna do any speed work quite yet. I do have a 5K, maybe a 10K coming up in the relative near future uh, where if I wanna put any work in towards that race, I'm gonna have to start doing some speed work soon, but not quite yet. Um, but today, the other thing I also want to talk about is some stuff that I've been doing before the marathon and after the marathon to kind of take care of myself. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, what's my routine, stretching, foam rolling, things like that. And I've told you guys that I really don't do much of anything. Usually I might foam roll in the last couple of weeks before a marathon when the mileage is getting high and maybe like a couple of times after a marathon uh, just to kind of get everything flushed out of the system. And that's still pretty much true. But as I was getting ready to train for this marathon, I got contacted by uh, Smart Things is the name of the company to take a look at these soul healers, which is uh, something that you put under your feet. So a lot of people I think you're probably familiar with like the nubby balls or the sticks that you can roll you know, like your foot over. Uh, and this is kind of a similar idea, except this doesn't roll. It's meant to sit on the floor. Uh, but before we get into my thoughts on this particular device, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a set. They come in a pair uh, that was sent to me by Smart Things. Jennifer Muroff, the co-founder of the company, reached out to me on email and asked if I'd take a look at these. Uh, so I got these for review uh, for free. I didn't have to pay for them, uh, but she's not paying me to make this video. No one's paying me to make the video and no one's going to get a chance to see any of the content before you guys get a chance to see it on YouTube. So now with that out of the way, let's talk about these. Uh, so the way that I've been using these is similar to something that I realized once Jennifer had reached out to me on uh, trying to use one of these, is that something that I do walking around our apartment here is uh, every time I cross a threshold, and now some of the thresholds in our apartment, because we have different heights of flooring, it's a, a long story, bad contractor kind of situation, but to kind of mitigate the transition of those different heights of flooring, there are threshold cover pieces in certain doorways. And I've noticed that every time I pass those doorways, I always step on them with my right foot, uh, right on the arch so that the arch is on the kind of part that, that transition cover or that uh, trim piece. And I think it's been kind of doing the same thing that this device is trying to do. And so uh, I thought that when I would use this, I would use it kind of in a similar way. And one of the ways that I've been using this was, <laughs> I set it in, in the kitchen uh, from where I do the dishes. We don't have a dishwasher in our apartment, so we have to hand wash everything. It's kind of one of my favorite things to do because it's uh, I can kind of just zone out. And I've been stepping on this thing, not every time that I do the dishes, but every once in a while uh, as I'm doing the dishes to kind of give my foot a chance to stand on it in a couple of different ways. Now, initially when I thought I had would get this, I thought this would squish a little bit more, but it's rel it does give a little bit, but it is relatively firm. And I found that I can't stand on it the entire time. I have to kind of move positions every once in a while and rotate, which is also good because then you're hitting different parts of the foot. But it is, maybe, and maybe it's just that I have delicate feet, but I can't just stand on it for a very long period of time in a row, uh, which is kind of how I thought I would use it. But instead what I do is I might rotate my foot or angle it at different ways, getting different parts of kind of basically my midfoot under the arch, some kind of pressure release and like massage as I'm using it. And so I've been enjoying using it that way. So I have one in front of this thing and another one is just in the bedroom, kind of in another spot that I occasionally walk. And as I walk by it, I will step on it. So that's kind of how I've been using it. 
After the marathon, I thought I would use it a ton. I ended up using it almost zero because my feet were feeling great after the marathon. Uh, I don't know why that is, but this marathon, uh, I probably had the quickest recovery that I've ever had from any other marathon before. And I had the least kind of pain and muscle soreness. So I was feeling relatively, really, really good. But I did find that in the highest mileage weeks, that's where I was using this, uh, just a chance to kind of recover quickly. I wasn't using it every day. I was using it on an as needed basis. Whenever my foot kind of felt like it was having a problem. Now, for those of you who have been here, around here for a while, you've known that I've been kind of not battling, but occasionally been running into an issue with the neuroma. And I ran into it a lot, uh, ran into it a lot uh, over the winter. And some of you were thinking that it's because I've been running in narrow shoes or whatever it is, whether it's a Morton's neuroma or maybe I have a stress fracture, something going on in my right foot. And it was like a sharp kind of pain that would occasionally arise depending on the shoe that I was wearing is what it seemed to be. Uh, and so that always made me nervous. It's something that kind of started happening last uh, summer, about a year ago, um, maybe less than a year ago, as I was getting ready for the Chicago Marathon 2018. Uh, and so that's when I started kind of thinking about having to massage my feet a little bit more. That's when I, I think I started stepping on those thresholds in the apartment uh, as I walked through it. And so I don't know uh, if I, that's just something that has passed. Maybe I've been picking different shoes. Maybe my stride has altered somehow or my foot has strengthened. Um, or maybe it's been this. I don't think I can attribute my foot feeling great solely to this. I think it's probably a multitude of factors. I have been using this not as much as I thought I would because uh, I don't feel like I've needed it. So uh, it always comes down to a matter of uh, I don't like to do massage or rolling uh, for the sake of massage or rolling, I don't do it automatically. Uh, it's something that I do on an as needed basis. I didn't really need that much this training cycle, so I feel good about that. Uh, but when I did need something, it was nice to have this uh, to, to play around with and just kind of let my foot kind of wander around on it um, however it wanted to go. So I didn't have like a set routine. I didn't have like, you know, five seconds like this, five seconds like that, nothing like that. Just however it felt comfortable. And then once I was done, I'd probably spend less than a minute total on it. Uh, and then I would kind of slide it out of the way and I would stand regularly and finish washing the dishes a lot of times. So that's how I've been using these soul healers. If, uh, you have plantar fasciitis, I say it's really good for that. Uh, or otherwise just want a massage for your feet. I think this is something that uh, is worth checking out. Uh, if you have any questions about the product, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys a little bit more about it down there. Before I go, I wanna remind you guys about the charity runner for the week. It's Jonathan Aird. He's gonna be running the Berlin Marathon as his first marathon ever, and he's doing it to raise money for Multiple Sclerosis Society. Uh, I've already donated $70 to his fundraising efforts, and I'll post links in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?